this could be it. Anyway, um, as you can see, this is from uh, Rupley, which is our art. RT Russia Today and um, this is Philadelphia Curfew 2.0 National Guard troops arrive to help quell unrest and I said this in a previous video I put up uh, what is it two days ago if I remember, I'll leave the link in the description box of the video that I did. And I said in the video that uh, you see the police running. Jake was throwing bottles and different things at the police. And, they, and you saw the police running um, about uh, this was maybe on a Monday a week ago, a solid week ago. They were rioting against the police, and there was uh, a uh, big uh, pickup truck or whatever, SUV, that came around the corner and ran over a police officer, woman police officer, officer, and they said she got a broken leg. Now, we don't know if it was Jacob in that truck or some Edomite, you know, making that thing happen um, and uh, Trump been saying that he's going to bring in the troops and I said that's going to be the next step because it looks like these police can't handle you Jake so they're going to have the guard in there and that's going to calm you Jake's down man you Jake's are caught up in the prophecy and don't know that you're caught up in the prophecy because the next step is if you continue the rioting, which y'all gonna calm down because they're gonna shoot to kill, and they shoot they're gonna shoot to kill Jake, not Esau Edomites. So let me uh, let me uh, give you a scripture. I mean, what comes to mind right off the bat is uh, Second Ezra, fifteen. Second Ezra, uh, sixteen. <laughs> anyway, um, let me give you one precept in um. And um, Trump did say, he said, said it a number of times that uh, he was going to use the military to uh, administer the uh, vaccines. They kept saying months ago that they, they had, they'll, they'll have 330 million, which is the population of the United States. So their plan is to vaccine everyone. And when they have to use the military, there's going to be a, a certain level of force and intimidation to that. Now the scriptures say that, uh, the scriptures speak about the mark of the beast. And why do they say the beast? Because the beast, the beast is broken up into the political, a political part, a financial part, and a military part. That's NATO and the EU. So that's the beast. And the UN is a part of the beast. The, the UN is not the beast, but a, a, the UN is a part uh, connected to the beast. The beast consists of NATO and the EU. We've been telling you that for years. Anyway, it's so now you now you see the book of Revelation coming to life. Anyway, it says here in um, 
Revelation 2 verse 10 because they're not just going to shoot they're not just going to just blast Jake they're going they're going they're going to take they're going to grab Jacob and this this I see this uh situation quelling uh going quelling down going down but there's going to be other situations so this is going to be the norm they're going to have troops in there and then something's going to happen where the troops are going to open fire on Jake and they're not just going to kill one Jake, they're going to kill a handful of Jakes, and it's going to cause more of an uproar. Yeah, this, hey, we're, in the, we're in the end of this thing. It says, uh, Revelation 2, verse 10, and I'm going to close it on this. Fear none, of those, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, the devil represents the enemy, shall cast some of you into prison, not all of you, that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation because we're, we're in the time of Jacob's trouble when is the Lord and Michael behind him going to deliver the children of Israel his people during the time of Jacob's trouble said so then my people shall be delivered we're going to be delivered in the midst of Jacob's trouble so anybody teaching that there's no such thing as Jacob's trouble is a fucking idiot. It says, uh, and ye shall have tribulation ten days for a number of time. It could be five days. It could be uh, 20 days. It could be a month. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. Let me read this, the 11th verse. He, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. The second death is ultimately when the destruction comes, the fire comes from the heavens and destroys most, not most, but a big part of well, all of America, which is Babylon the Great. Anyway, um, I'm going to say Shalom. It's on to the next one. Shalom.